Well, hello there, my zealots. This is Joshua coming at you today. What's up? So, uh, Victor, my boy, he has a question. His uh, question is, uh, is having a toy idolatry? And he later specified like an action figure. <clears throat> this is the problem. Okay, so in the... Okay, in the olden days, they made graven images, and the graven images were of um, idols. They were, graven images were of gods and pantheons and stuff like that. You have to understand, in our culture, in our society, we have deviated. We have divided the concept of religious belief and fiction. So, we no longer... <clears throat> believe in these fictional characters, but we still like to dwell on the fictional characters and focus on them and distract ourselves with them and involve ourselves in their lives, even though they're not real. We have divorced ourselves from the belief, but yet we still commit idolatry. Yes, yes, we do. We still commit idolatry. If and, and you have to understand it goes back not to the action of an action figure or, you know, your posters on your wall of Guardians of the Galaxy or anything like that. Yes, we know that those are lies, and yet we choose to dwell on them. We dwell on them a lot. Now, here's the problem. God says we're supposed to love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. And then we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves. And later, <clears throat> Jesus Christ adds to love even our enemies and do good to them that despitefully hate you. So basically, love everybody. All right? We're supposed to love everybody. That's a tall order. You know what you... Okay, so... You know what you care about. You know what you love. You know what is your priority by what you think about. Well, the problem is that most people don't keep an annotated, qualitative statement of all things ever thought about. So it's easy to lose track of what you're thinking about. So here's what I propose. Let's say you have, it's, what, is you do, what do you do on your free time? Aha. See, now we start to realize what your priority is, right? Where your free time lies is what you worship. Let me say that again. Where your free time lies, that is what you worship. If you spend all of your free time watching TV or movies or sports or reading romance novels, if you're focusing on things that are not real, this is idolatry, regardless if you believe it to be true or not, because you're distracting yourself from focusing on God and God alone. Do you understand what I'm saying here? I don't want people to get hung up on the niggly, detaily things. Yes, that little action figure in your house, those little... Every, Anything that <clears throat> is the image of a fictional character, including movies, books, TV, uh, anything, anything that is the image of a, uh, of a describing or, or relating to a fictional character created by man, it's idolatry. And if you spend your time dwelling on that fiction, you are committing idolatry. And every moment that you distract yourself with that fiction is you are being idolatrous. So, I leave you here today with that thought that yes, your action figure is idolatrous and your romance novel is idolatrous and any kind of fictional story that you want to dwell on that is not the word of God is idolatrous because we are supposed to love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. Our entire lives are supposed to revolve around him and him alone. And not to be distracted by anything else in this world. Narrow and straight is the path and few shall find it. Everybody wants distractions. Nobody wants to be a zealot for God. Anyway, I'm Joshua, the zealot. <laughs> 
I will talk to you later. Saturday is at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We have our live stream. Feel free to come on down, ask some questions. Click the like button. Uh, subscribe. Uh, comment. Click the dingy thingy so that way you are when you're you're let known when these things are coming out. I will talk to you later. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Peace out.